Delu. All right, so for the next one, we're going to follow kind of like the same idea. We can't, we can't solve for like one of our thetas um, in this case. And in this case, we're going to eliminate the parameter to be theta, so I won't change it to t. We'll just leave everything as theta. But we do recognize, again, we're going to want to use that Pythagorean identity. So we'll have sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta equals 1. So again, to solve for cosine of theta, we could say cosine of theta is equal to x over 4. Sine of theta is equal to y over 2. You guys agree? Yes? So now, remember, guys, this is the same thing as that, right? This is the same thing as that. So that means I can just replace sine with y over 2. And I can replace cosine with x over 4. Now I can square these to give me y squared over 4 plus x squared over 16 equals 1. Now does this look exactly like the circle? No, it looks like one variable is being affected a little bit more than the other variable, right? Yeah. So it's going to be an oval, or mathematically we can call this an ellipse. Okay. And then, if you guys want to know a little bit more about this, this is an ellipse where it's going to have a, it's going to be a horizontal, what we call a horizontal ellipse. Now, what I'd like you guys to do is, again, graph that. Type that into your calculator, and you guys can see. Now, you probably are going to want to change the 